thanks a lot for joining me this afternoon for oh, one. Oh, no, it's, it's me who is thanking you. Thank you so much. Well, and uh, talk about Linda Ronstad, arguably one of the biggest stars in the business, one whose career has shown, well, some longevity. That might be an understatement. But she's also been fearless in trying to tackle music outside of her comfort zone. Why did you want to take this challenge on? For me, I, I feel the same way. It, Linda is this person who is saying so many different kinds of music, so many genres of music. And for me, it's like going to school just to listen to somebody sing so many different types of music. It's just been such an amazing catalog to get to know. So for me, it's it's a musical education. And, you know, in addition to the myriad of choices you have in covering Linda Ronstadt's work, you also must consider the technical uh, prowess of a woman who has won a, a Tony Award. I remember Pirates of Penzance. She <laughs> starred in that. And you, you have formidable experience as an actor as well. Um, but how do you prepare to take on this role just physically? For me, just listening, 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 singing, 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 listening listening and some more singing <laughs> honestly I could never be Linda Ronstadt I could never be the kind of singer that she is but for me just to get a chance to sing some of the songs that she uh, lived and breathed I, th I think is just such an honor so I would say that you know how am I preparing really just by by listening to how she approaches a song I feel like it's really cool because when you listen to her sing different kinds of music she really is a storyteller she's somebody who really loves songwriters and she loves lyrics you can tell that you can i i feel like i can tell when she really loves a particular song so you alluded to the fact that you you're not necessarily trying to replicate what linda ronstead does with her technical acrobatics with her voice necessarily so how do, how do you approach that stuff in particular do you try to to bond and bind yourself to a song for example i would say that absolutely i feel that it's so important especially if i'm singing somebody else's music if i'm singing someone else's song something i didn't write then yeah, I absolutely want to bond myself to that song. I want to respect what that songwriter has created. For me, that's everything, it is to uh, bring something that is a response to what somebody has brought to the table. I think being creative is so precious. And if a songwriter has put something down on, on paper or, or created something, I want to bring just my deepest respect every time. Every time. And uh, Linda Ronstadt uh, has been known as a, an outspoken activist throughout her career. Um, this is kind of an aside from um, how she earned her living, uh, that is interpreting mostly um, other people's songs, but she's been an outspoken activist and touched on everything from environmentalism to feminism and gay rights. Uh, does this aspect of her personality uh, come into the context of your show? Absolutely. You know, she was working in the music industry and performing at a time where there were not a lot of women uh, on the road. There were not a lot of women around her. And she said that that had uh, that took its toll in so many ways for her. And she was really outspoken. She at one point was dating Jerry Brown and, and he was running for the the Democratic nomination in the States and people were really hard on her and she was very outspoken. I think what's great, though, too, is that, you know, long, long time right now uh, has made this resurgence and people have started to listen to Linda Ronstadt because it was featured in an episode of The Last of Us and became uh, such an important song uh, for for that show. But what's amazing is that because of the storyline of that show, Linda's done it again it's become a political song. It's become such an important song for, for gay rights right now. It's beautiful. And she's, when she got asked about long, long time about the resurgence of that song, she focused on the songwriter. She said, I, I'm so happy for this songwriter that his music is being mm. featured. And I, I love that about her. 
Mm -hmm. Extremely generous. Well, and um, you're so gifted yourself and extremely humble and generous in your approach to Linda Ronstadt. This is a, described as an immersive uh, multimedia experience. What does that look and sound like when, when you take on Linda Ronstadt at Festival Place? Oh, well, for us, we're going to show you a lot of images that you might not have seen of Linda's life. And again, I'm, I'm not going to be Linda. I could never be her. But this is literally my love letter to her. So what I'm bringing is a little bit of my own personal feeling uh, about who she is. And I know that I'll never meet her <laughs> or that she'll never know me, but... I, I'm pretty excited to to share with you this incredible band, these beautiful images and the sound, and just to really celebrate her her gorgeous, gorgeous uh, catalog of music, and and by that celebrating all of these songwriters that she adored. She was responsible for some some pretty neat moments in terms yeah. of bringing together, uh, you know, Don Henley, Glenn Fry. You know, they they were working in her band and. She heard them singing one night and said, oh, this is, this is pretty special. <laughs> so, pretty amazing that uh, she was there watching when the Eagles uh, formed their, their band. There so. in the incipient stages. So she has such a vast catalog. How did you go about choosing the material? I listened to, I think, everything, like really everything. And for me, choosing the songs... I really felt like it was important to cover certain songs that I know that she made popular. But more than that, what I was listening for was something really, I don't know, hard to define, which is that thing that you hear when you hear somebody who absolutely is telling the truth. And for me, when I listen to her sing, and the dynamics that she that she shares and and the storytelling i f i fell in love with the songs that were really truthful there is something for example when she sings in spanish i don't think there's anything more beautiful in the whole wide world than listening to linda ronstadt sing in spanish there's something so deeply honest and truthful uh, about her singing music that she feels very connected to. So I, I really tried to pick songs where I, I felt like what she was singing was so true. And so what is it about I mean, Linda Ronstad? She's so charismatic. And as I mentioned off the top of our chat, she's had um, uh, uh, an illustrious career that has seen her tackle pop music. She's won a Tony Award. She's appeared on Broadway. Uh, and as you said, Andrea, she's tackled um, Spanish music and she's paid homage to her Mexican lineage as, as well. Uh, if you could kind of sum her up in a word, what, that, what do you think is the kernel of that charisma? The kernel of the charisma, I think, for Linda is is truth she strives to tell the truth to be honest and for me I, I think that i could i can feel it i can feel it when she's singing and you know i know i'll never meet her but if i could say something to her i would say you know i know that people may have said, oh, I, I love you, Linda. I, I love your voice. I, I think you have a beautiful voice. And maybe people sort of think that they love Linda because of this beautiful voice. But what I would want to say to Linda is that voice didn't make you. You made that voice. Mm, powerful. And uh, well, thank you, Andrea House, for bringing that truth to the stage festival place and uh, it's an honor to have this opportunity to check out your interpretation of the incredible work of Linda Ronstadt and her life and to go out of our chat can I play a song for you from Yehweh's Vast Library I would love to hear in celebration of the resurgence of her music I would love to hear Long Long Time <laughs> 